episode number 342. Because they have already experienced that hitting some of the goals that most people wish they would be able to hit are not satisfying a problem. And it only once you've experienced that can you understand the depth of that particular pain. Welcome to the Be Real Show with Travis Tutal and Hoff, where we talk about life, dreams, social media, and business. Well, hello, and welcome to the Be Real Show with Travis Tutal and Huff. Folks, you know your boy is always fired up and ready to bring you a little fuego in your day, night, weekend, and whenever you listen to the day show. But after this show, guys, I think you're going to want to think of a life a little bit more magical because we are talking to a wizard, a wizard of business, a life. And I would say his soul is a truly connected to the life of wizardry. Mr. JB, the wizard. How are you doing today, JB? What's going on? I'm doing great, doing great. Happy to be here, too, Tallin. <laughs> Absolutely, my man. It is a pleasure today uh, just to know a little bit more about uh, uh, the, the wizard, JB, the wizard, uh, he, he's basically helping people in many different ways. Um, salespeople, CEOs, celebrities, escaping this hamster wheel, ha- getting rid of just the day to day functions and, and basically trying to figure out how to live their freedom, what that looks like. Maybe, uh, some people don't know, maybe, uh, in many ways. And also my man's been featured across the globe, Forbes, Fox media, uh, we work everywhere. And the point in general is, uh, and your message is, is real, man, because many people have this nagging feeling of what am I doing? Why am I in this doing the same thing every day? Uh, and, and at the end of the day, we know that life is, is not uh, forever, right? And uh, you lose somebody. Jay, we're just talking about Kobe. Look, Kobe and Gigi and many other families were lost in that accident. Breaks your heart. And the point is, that was a that was a situation no one really wanted, right? No one pre- predicted that. That was the outcome that it just happened. And in many kit situations in life, when you see that, you realize life is abrupt sometimes, and uh, you don't get all the choices in life, right? And so the, the a big part of it is to live in the present, I think, but also to embrace the ability to uh, you know embrace and, and 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 go after your dreams, and go you know beyond some of the things of the day to day. So tell me, my man. Take me back in your early days. Were you always fascinated about, you know, kind of, uh, you know, work, if you want to call that, and also basically business? Uh, or Tell me about your journey. Tell, take me back. Yeah, yeah. When I was, uh, so, you know, I'm German, and my father's American military, so we, so we moved every couple of years. Got and you. so um, growing up, there were two main things I knew. When I was nine years old, I knew I was going to be on television and I knew I needed to understand how the body worked because I, I loved remote control cars. And so I, I had a remote control car called the Bandit. I don't know if you remember that one. That was the best one. The best that was the best one. That was one of the best ones. It was, you know, and so and in California, I was, I was living in California at the time. And the streets would go up like this to parking places and I would jump the Bandit off and oh, yeah. things, right? But I remember going to uh, to sleep one night and the sun was setting. And I remember looking over to the right and I saw these shadows, these people, they were walking. And I was thinking in my brain, my remote control car works without a cable. My not good remote control car work, had a cable. So I had two, right? And I was thinking, how do people work? Because they don't have a cable. Right. And so then I was like, I need to figure that out. And so I knew that became kind of like, not an obsession, but I, I just wanted to figure out how does all this happen? So that got me to my degree in exercise physiology pre-med. Mm. And then um, with the television stuff, I just knew I was going to be on television. And so the opportunity came up. My mother said, there's a there's a movie auditioning. And then I auditioned for it and I got in it. And that started the, the film career, you know, the television, film, voiceovers, theater and all that stuff. Wow. That is incredible. So you kind of just went with your, your gut since the beginning and you've just living that to your fullest today uh and that is it that is awesome man because i think a lot of times people don't forget about going with their gut you know they're maybe sitting here at 40 years old and saying shit i wish i'd done that you know yeah you know what you know listen to yourself and i always say it's not too late guys to start a podcast fill out your intentions in life uh and you know maybe sometimes it takes an expert or someone like yourself to help people uh, right. In many ways, because uh, the clarity is not there for us. We get caught up in the day-to-day stuff. And, and like I would say, a professional 
like a gardener or a professional lawyer or something like that. They help really fix the problems that, that you can't fix because of the knowledge that they have. Um, and many, in many ways, it's an enhancement to our lives. And so uh, people forget that those basically are coaches. My gardener is my coach. You know, he coaches my yard. And he's making sure that that thing stays hot and nice when it's 106 outside. And I can't do that. And I'm watching my daughter and I'm recording a podcast. He is enhancing my life. And so uh, that, that's a way of thinking about these things uh, instead of sometimes, oh, I got to pay the extra money to this guy. He's going to do it. I can do it myself. Because a lot of times people kind of forget that, you know, you can't do it all yourself. And no. uh, it, it, a way to live a, a more abundant and fulfilled life is to enhance your life a little bit. And, uh, and, and, you know, and his, because it provides himself a business and, and provides uh, income for that person in, in many ways. And, uh, but, but that's very fascinating about the body because you got guys like Elon Musk, right. That just throw out, Hey, we're all in a simulation. What the, what the, <laughs> what does that mean? God damn, that is just, and this is like the smartest man. I've, inv- I've interviewed 300 and almost 90 people. And I asked a question at the end here, we'll get to, but basically who would you want to chop it up with tonight for dinner? And uh, that's one of the main ones that comes up out of like, you know, the majority, let's just say it's not, the, it's not every single one, but it's a fascinating person. And he says, we're all in a simulation. And it's okay. That's a way of thinking of it. Yeah, you're right. We might be because, like you said, it's a w- w- the Wi-Fi. Where's the controller at? Uh, it's one of those things. And so, uh, but the point is, we all don't probably know, right? And uh, there's maybe no one right answer. But part of it for me has to be surrounding yourself of other people and experts. So tell me a little bit about your experience with with the body uh, and your fascination to that because it's uh, interesting with the bi- body and mind connection and. Uh, just, yeah, so just the main thing is that, you know, there's only one answer to everything. So the main thing that I help people with when it comes to alignment and really is helping with focus, right? So I help people to manage their focus, really, um, because there's so many things going on with, with my type of clients. And it's like, mm-hmm. you know, what do I focus on next? Because what I always say is time is expensive, right? And, and uh, money is cheap. And so you, really, <laughs> you want to use money whenever you can, which sounds weird but you want to use money because you're paying for time. And especially when you work with, you know, you know, a coach of any sort, then um, you want to, you're really shortening the time. And so when it comes to the body, the way the body works is the way the trees work. The way the trees work is how uh, business works. The way business works, how marketing works. It's how relationships work. It's how parenting works, how children works, how God works. It's all the same. It's really also how, uh, obviously, physiology works and also, um, I was thinking electromagnetism, lights, phototherapy, like it's literally all the same thing. It sounds funny to say that, but there's only one way. And so when it comes to the body, many times my understanding of it is how I understand human behavior. It's not simply that neurotransmitters and chemicals and things like that, you know, and different, um, let's say, let's just say chemicals are affecting some people's moods. Therefore we want to uh, address that with diet, right? We could say that sort Absolutely. of thing. But the, the way I tend to look at it is really that um, I, I would just say is what I call, I even talk about the bravery muscle like this, right? We came up with a comparison to making decisions called the bravery muscle, but it's my, it's my understanding of the body and physiology that helps me to extend that over to let's call it this metaphysical behavior of decision making. It's one of the five parts of the process of futuring. And so um, that's really how I connect it. Yes, diet comes into play, you know, when it comes to physiology, but really how to understand cells and behaviors and even viruses. We, I <laughs> funny to think about that, but right. uh, helps me to understand how somebody should market their business or how they should communicate with the, with another employee even right it's it's weird to say that but it's that's what happens it's it's very interesting it's all energy right we're all energy and uh fast that's fascinating dude so tell me a little bit more about kind of the people that you really love working with tell me i know you work with a variety of types of people um but who do you really love and synergize with so we maybe can put that out there in the the universe and uh you know attract those people to your league. Sure, sure. So I, I got the water coming down. <laughs> oh, yeah, no but um, the people I love working with, I do work with top CEOs, top salespeople and celebrities. So my favorite ones are probably the salespeople. Gotcha. Um, 
And what I love about celebrities is that they have a strong bravery muscle. A celebrity is only somebody who has never given up. That's right. that's all it is. And so what they tend to have is they, they have these very difficult experiences on top of being very, the talent that they have worked hard for for decades. And they are very much misunderstood. And I believe are marginalized. And I think that so many people are trying to pay attention to this kind of a person. So I say most people are trying to make poor people rich. I love to make rich people happy. Mm. So because I just feel like they're being, you know, ignored. Yes. And at that point, the pain of uh, not being fulfilled is even magnified a lot of times because they are, have already experienced that hitting some of the goals that most people wish they would be able to hit are not satisfying a problem. And it only once you've experienced that can you understand the depth of that particular pain. So that's what I, I love to work with them. Salespeople are super my favorite. I work with the best, like literally the best in the world. Uh, number one salesperson in, in the world. Uh, another guy sells hundred plus million dollars per year. I love them because they are, they are constantly looking to improve. There is no arrival point. And this is true about life. Yeah. So, Anything they can do to eat better, to get an edge, to think better, to have a clear head, to focus on, to close a deal more efficiently. You know, how can I, you know, manage a team or the sales department in a better way so that I can focus on deals? They, they are just, they're my favorite. And once I tell them what to do, right, once we get them into alignment, I'm not telling them what to do. Once I show them their own truth, right. they take action on it because they have such a strong bravery muscle. So I, I love them. <laughs> true very resilient group let's just be real uh mm -hmm. taking we've taken rejection many a times and exactly. uh, willing to keep him putting in that work like you said uh it, it's a it's a great group of people uh and and people forget that salespeople quite often make the most money in a building and uh oh, yeah. I, I remember that <laughs> happening all the time when i was working at abc channel 30 which is a, a news station and you'd have the news people which were you know famous they're celebrities uh, in the public, right? So they get all the kind of camaraderie at the at the Fresno Fair or wherever they're at. They're oh, you will get your autograph, blah blah blah. But they'd be mad at us because they'd be seeing and hearing about our commission checks we would be getting, and they'd be realizing we're making more possibly than the anchors are, right? right. And, and, and we're in our twenties, right? We're in our young 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 bucks out here, and the whole point would be just kind of that fun rivalry of like. Hey, don't forget, like, if we don't bring in that sales revenue, you don't got a new station. And obviously we realized, you know, many years now over the, over the generations, uh, uh, we started our business 12 years ago. So since 12 years ago, it's been tougher for them. You know, they've had to do different things because the, the news is free, but uh, the advertisers are not as, as much there you know, because there's, uh, there's other places to advertise. There's social media, there's TikTok ads. There's so many different other distribution places to run ads um, in a more targeted and if you want to call it cost efficient uh, manner than run into a TV station with 20 grand and saying, Hey, I got to be on your TV station. Cause it might work or it might not. And, uh, right. and my opinion would be, you don't want to kind of learn that lesson. If you are a business, you don't want to just try to throw 20 grand at something, you know, you kind of want to have a strategy. And if you're going to do 20 grand, you want to spend it throughout the year and you want to be on consistent times. And you know, there's, there's things you can do to still spend that 20 grand on TV, but quite often what happens is people spend the 20 grand JP, they get on TV and they can't handle the inbound traffic. They can't handle the amount of calls they're getting. Yeah. So they don't even know, okay, well, what happens when you're on a call and then someone else calls? Cause when you're on TV on Oprah, you might get more than just one call at the same time. So if you don't have a backup system, if you don't have a routing to another phone call, you know, you'd find these things that would happen and the customers would just be like, wow, we didn't realize that this would happen. And so it's kind of one of those success points where you realize you just didn't have the system to take in the leads. You know, it's, okay. a, it's very interesting, but it's something that happens, especially with TV because it's a big bang, but then yeah. it's like, what happens next? Um, uh, you know, cause it kind of happens like this 30 seconds, boom, uh, let's action. Let's call, let's call, you know, this and that. And, uh, obviously the biggest companies in the world have a process, have a, have a, you know, operating answering service, et cetera. Uh, but, uh, many times that was one of the things I'd have to, you know, kind of preface the customers on, are you ready for this traffic? Can you even handle this traffic if we spend this kind of money? Because many uh, times they, they couldn't, they really couldn't. Um, and you, as an honest salesperson, you wouldn't want them to spend the money and then it not work. You know, you want it to 
it work and then them come back every month. You know, that's the, the true beauty of marketing. And if you can get it right is they come back every single month um, to help you. And so, uh, but yeah, dude, I love that. What are some of the obstacles or challenges that these people are having right now? What are some yeah. of the things that they're- I, I would say the big one is, is, is focus. I would say that because um, in, my, in my opinion, if somebody does not have ADD or ADHD, it's like, oh, they, maybe they're not going to be successful. <laughs> it's like, I have so many successful clients and they, when they have that or some sort of even, um, even depression or something like that, it's happening because they are uh, available to their own emotions and because the, the brain works in a different way that's giving them the amazing results they're having. So right. uh, what the other side to that though is the focus sometimes and what it means by focus is not they focus on this what it means is they know what they want to go after but there's a lot of noise and it's not just even myself i'm i'm, I'm very careful about any incoming anything right, right. so so I'm, I'm i'm very i'm not tolerant of that at all you know my focus is is output and then what comes in i'm very careful about any any kind so of way smart. So we do that also with them which helps them to then organize their mind and once the mind is organized, oh my gosh, because the thing about these people is they're awesome. They're amazing. Okay. What happens though, is if they don't know where to put their 120% power, then where's it going except for everywhere. So what we do is we just figure out basically like a compass. Okay. Let's focus here. Here's the alignment. Here's where you're going to go. Is that right? And like, yeah, that's exactly where we go. Oh my gosh. It was there the whole time. Yep. It was there the whole time with all the noise. You couldn't see it was right here. Wow. Once we identify that, they go full throttle fast and then, you know, things open up. And they get more success. Or even in general, they, these people might not need success. They just want to be a little more happy, right? I mean, sometimes yeah. these people aren't necessarily working with a coach to get to the next level. To get, they just already at the top level and they just want a little bit more clarity, happiness, focus, uh, you know, mental sanity, if you want to call it too, possibly in their lives, right? They definitely want the clarity almost all the time there is something else that's bigger than most people could even imagine that they don't share with a lot of people because the vision is so big Ooh. because the vision is so big and they're currently in this particular situation. When and how are they going to create this very large vision? Do they stop doing what's generating so much income to follow what their passion is or, or, or do they follow their passion, risk the income, not know what's going to happen here, Right. So this is what we kind of we figure out that balance of how to go from here to here in a way that mitigates the risk. So we have not as much risk. And then we also make sure that the, the reason you're actually here happens because they know something is going on. I know that I'm here for something even bigger than I'm currently doing, but I don't know the first step to take. Mm. Right. So that first step is really that the, the key part too. So clarity is gold in that situation financial freedom is very important but mental freedom is uh is is priceless so that's really what we go for because a lot of people have financial freedom but they don't have mental freedom right? yeah Sad. yeah and i actually put a quote i put um what is it i said i just not said this it says uh no money but happiness is still garbage to me that's trash <laughs> um lots of money but bored or unfocused or unhappy, that's also trash. We want you to have the money. We want you to have the fulfillment. Mm. That is where we want you to be. We want you to have a cake and eat it too. <laughs> and we all deserve that too. I mean, many times uh, we forget that it's, it's in our own power to uh, often get out of the situations even if we're in a tough one. I know I remember that for me. I mean, that was one of my biggest things just, hey, dude, you got to get back on something. Uh, what, what, the things you know you are stri you're striking it out on, stop. Stop doing them, you know? And, and then a lot of times for me, it was just like the little simple things. So for, to get my money right, JB, I started meal prepping, making $2 simple uh, spinach salads and doing little meal preps at night, saving that um, 20 bucks a day, if you want to call it, even on healthy meals, Subway, Chipotle, whatever, even healthy stuff, you know, they say uh, chicken rice bowls, whatever, but it was just convenience and, and prepared for you. Um, and, uh, and then kind of focusing all that money, if you want to call it for 12, 13 years, guys, literally on investments and a lot of beautiful things in my life along the journey until we're now where I have created both a discipline around food. I do cook a lot myself 
and save money that way. We, me and my wife joke quite often, oh, it's another $2 meal prep, you know, because we don't have to be eating this $2 meal prep at this point, but it's the routine and it's what's worked. And it's, and, and a lot of times it's healthy. It's, it's, it's uh, very convenient um, because you don't have to go anywhere or wait for anybody on Uber Eats or whatever. And then you get to enjoy that special meal when you do get to enjoy it. Um, I think too many people are, are enjoying that Starbucks latte every day to realize, hey, drink some black coffee, drink the 40 cent coffee for a month. And then on Sundays or whenever you get to go and enjoy that Starbucks, it'll be damn good. It will be a lot better than if you just get to enjoy that latte. Now, if you can if you enjoy the latte every day and you still are able to do everything else in your life, do it. You know what I mean? Like, do it. Like you said, eat the cake and live it too. But if you aren't making money, you're worried about, you. I don't got 50 bucks or 100 bucks to invest or I don't got 200 bucks to put into myself with a coach or whatever, you got to cut something out. You know, I mean, that's kind of my idea and philosophy about some of it. And then I think there's a lot of other things that, you know, come into bringing more to abundance to your life and things like that as well. But it really sometimes comes down to tactical, JB, just start cutting things, you know, like, cut a little few things out of your life. And then at some point you get to enjoy them. You know, you get to enjoy that latte or that special drink. And, uh, and, and for me, at least that's just the way I've gotten myself out of a huge hole. Um, and to bring back a ton of more momentum. And then still now with momentum, if you live that same way as you did when you had nothing, you are going to just be continually grateful because a lot of times, you know, you probably see this too, JB, people get ahead of them ski, them skis, you know, they get, start getting success. Oh, I got to spend more. I got to get a bigger car. I got to do this more. And they start kind of overextending themselves. And then if something dries up for me, my biggest thing has happened to me guys is I became a dad. So two years ago, I sacrificed my whole life to become a pop entrepreneur. And that means I can't go out on the sales calls and I can't go out and grow and scale my business and go out to the conventions and trade shows and blah, blah, blah. I have scaled down certain parts of that business because I am appreciating being a dad and I'm going to soak up every single day and second of being a father. I got my little girl here uh, on the, on the monitor and I got a one month old uh, in the other room. And, and the point is I'm there for them 24 hours a day, seven days a week and still run the business. And right. still have multiple businesses now. But the point in general, guys, is in general, I'm not sacrificing anything when it comes to my dad, being a dad. I'm, that's me. But I am going to realize the sacrifice of my business not being as strong, taking some hits on the chin, because I can't be out there in front of people, out on the road, motivating people on, at conventions or wherever to possibly pick up more customers, right? So I'm, for me, I, I'm making that sacrifice and how I'm looking at it is, hey, you know what? It's much better in my days when I, in this earth to know that I did that for the reasons and purpose that I wanted. And that was because I wanted to be a papa. I wanted to be a dad full scale and not uh, take and miss those opportunities, uh, even though they seem minuscule, because they go by fast. And next thing you know, the kid's five, 10, 12, 15, 20, 50, you know, bye dad. Hey, okay. Okay. And then next thing you know, you're, you know, you're sitting there. What, what the hell did I do? And if it was just at work all day and I missed the kid, and at least I know now, Hey, I spent 20 years, you know, I gave it my all. And, uh, and most importantly, at the end of the day, I've just had so many very, very gracious moments that I would never have gotten. So the price and the payoff is going to be for me, different than someone else listening, but it's my story. And that's the, the, the truth that JB, I think a lot of people forget is that you got to go with what it feels right to you. And mm -hmm. if you have to make a sacrifice in money, then you got to be able to spend less money to be able to sacrifice and, and survive and live. Right. So uh, for me, like I said, that's just the one thing that I realized it was two years ago. It's been interesting. We didn't expect the pandemic to take some quicker shots of the business and things like that. But we are still grinding and scaling and, uh, and, and started the sports car business. So it's a little bit uh, more fun. I always wanted to have a, a card shop as a kid. And, uh, but dude, I think the most important thing that people are forgetting in life is that we are only got one of them. Mm -hmm. We got one in this form, in this, you know, <laughs> maybe it's something we come out in a different one and it's completely different. And I, I agree but in my opinion, in this life, we got one that we're embracing right now. And also in the moment too, people forget we got one moment that we're embracing right now. Me and JB are on the line here. And the beauty of podcasting, the beauty of, of videos is that someone's going to be listening to this show many times in a future moment than this 
and it'll just, it lasts forever. And uh, that's personally why I also love uh, podcasts and things like that is that, you know, it kind of provides this value point for people at the point that they're, that they come across it. And, um, and we don't know when that is. It's everyone. Sometimes people listen right away. Sometimes people are, are going to find the B-Real show in five, 10 years from now. Uh, and the point is then they find the JB, you know, and, and that maybe changes their life five years from now. Isn't that kind of fascinating? Kind of the way you talked about the, the 13 year, you know, when you first thought about changing people's lives uh, and now how you're, you know, kind of doing this. The point is we literally, um, I, I truly believe anything you put in your mind, you can do, man. So tell me a little bit more about, um, what, what, what motivates you, man? What motivates you on a daily basis? Like what, what keeps you going? Yeah. Freedom. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> freedom. freedom. Yeah. Freedom, every way. It's big. It's big. Yeah. Freedom in any and every possible way for myself, but in for the world, I, we do have a goal with futuring. We want the entire world to be in their alignment and to be free. The, the 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 idea is that just like the body works together, you know, we've got a pinky and a thumb, and this goes back to physiology again, right? How it all comes together. This is the human race. There's only one, right? And so, when we learn how to function well together, that's when you get this high performing behavior. So, when you watch a boxer or you watch a basketball player, you're watching really the body working together, communicating with each other where the right hand knows where the left hand is and the mind is speaking to the feet and then it's encouraging itself and it's swallowing at a certain time and it's breathing. All of this harmony is happening with this individual. So you're really watching a universe when you're watching an athlete of any kind or performer, you know, or a ballerina, this is what you're watching or a singer, it doesn't matter, an artist. So imagine that the entire human race is exactly that. And all of us together is one body. And so if we would be in our alignment, living our purpose for why we're here, which we know what that is, but a lot of times the pressure of different societal pressure, familiar pressure, religious pressures, financial pressures, we, we choose, we don't want to be a victim, but we're choosing to allow that to be more important than our purpose. Mm. And the tricky thing that happens is that when we choose those things instead of the purpose, then wherever you think your source comes from, whether it's God or the universe or aliens or nature, it doesn't really matter. Right. Wherever you think it comes from, it cannot really help you because it's, it has to be in its alignment too. And so when you get in that spot, that's when you're doing your job and everything can function together. Wow. So what drives me is exactly that. I want to see the world function in this one way. Unified. Dude, I love that. Cause I think the world right now, it seems like it's a lot of like this, 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 like I'm better than you. You're better than me. We're this, you're that. And it's like, dude, we all take shits, babe, man. Like we all have to drink water to stay alive. We all have to, you know, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, get a little sunlight in your day to, to brighten your melatonins and things. But the, the, the gets crazy. It's like, I like this person and you like that person, or I like this team and you like that team. And it's like, Dude, at the end of the day, I am a huge sports fan, huge. And I hate certain teams when we play each other in that moment. But after I take a loss on a game, which always happens usually with my Dallas Cowboys or now i got the Phoenix Suns doing pretty good right now. But when I take a loss, you just accept it and you go, dude, good game, dude. That was awesome. It's a game. It's a freaking game. Like it's a fun thing. It's a fun moment. And, uh, like you said, like the fact that we are all one yeah. is something we forget. Like we just like, it's like, I'm better than you. You're better than me. He's a, you know, or I'm doing this and this person's doing that. And it, there's many different answers or reasons why maybe these people do that. I don't know all of them, but I just feel like, yeah, that's a, such a great message and purpose, dude. If you can get people all into the alignment of knowing that we are all one, like, dude, that, what a powerful message. Like, it's almost mind blowing, kind of like the simulation, but it, 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 it makes you feel more connected too, and it makes you feel like, okay, that makes sense. Like, okay, we, there's so many things we don't know. The fact that we could all, we're all one, we're all human race. And there's like the shot that we got was a lot because 
I remember Joe Rogan or who Gary V said, or someone said, you know, they could, someone could have just jacked this off in the bathroom that day or whatever, you know, basically it's kind of brutal, but an interesting thought, like there's tons of sperm in the sex process just to be us is a blessing, you know? And so, and then to have the blessing of even to be, I, I would say an American, uh, you know, to have the, the freedoms we have, unlike others that, you know, I've not only interviewed in different countries, but also just watched and seen and just like, Oh my God, there's, People don't get all the same freedoms we get here. So I would say, don't let time go by, you know, start, start now. Um, you know, and that leads me into my, some questions for you, my man. Are you ready? We're about to take you into our top 10. Let's go. Are you ready, my man? I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go, boss man. Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. Netflix or oh. YouTube? Netflix. Netflix. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Instagram. And give your Instagram a shout out because we want people to follow you there. I like your I, I like your IG. JB the Wizard. JB the Wizard, folks. We're gonna put that in the show notes as well. Uh, chicken or steak? If you're thinking about a good meal. <laughs> I'm vegan. <Or> vegan. <laughs> vegan. What's the best? What's your favorite vegan meal? <laughs> Let's go with um, uh, mushroom and asparagus. Ooh, I love. I love me some mushrooms. And asparagus too, especially uh, the way it makes your pee smell the next day. Very interesting <laughs> smell. Very interesting smell. It's interesting why it does that. I was like, oh my god. I guess it only happens to certain certain amounts of people too. It's like very. I uh, it was on twenty three and Me. Yeah. <laughs> some people get that, and some people can't smell their asparagus. Pee. Very interesting stat I learned recently. Uh, laptop or a smartphone? A uh, laptop. Laptop. <laughs> Spotify or Pandora. 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 Movies or video games? Ooh, that's tough. Let's Depends on the mood. Depends on the mood, huh? Yeah, let's go with movies. Movies. <laughs> Reading books or listening to books? Listening. Listening. Love that. Life hack right there. Stocks or real estate if you're thinking about diversifying investments? Real estate. Real estate. And if you're thinking about a vacation right now, oceans or lakes? Uh, lakes. Lakes. What what lake would you like to go to uh, right now? If you could just hop on a plane and uh, we're out. We're out to go see a lake. Beautiful Let's lake. go to, to a lake in Helsinki, Finland. Ooh, nice. In Helsinki, Finland. Let's go. I've seen some beautiful lakes out there. <laughs> Incredible lakes out there. So, my man, when you're waking up for your day and you're looking at yourself in your mirror, you're brushing your teeth, you're, you're getting ready for your day, why do you love being you, Mr. JB the Wizard? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful. Almost like what you were saying. Um, my family, I've got, I've got six children and, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, my newest one, she's four months. She's oh, amazing. hell yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then my wife is remarkable. So, so the, the very big truth, they are, they are sincerely wonderful. They're great people. It's not like I love them cause they're mine. They're, they're really all great people. So isn't it amazing how like the souls of your kids are different too? Like you're like, yeah. didn't this all come out of the same girl? Like, like what the, <laughs> how the hell are you so different? <laughs> so fascinating. It's fascinating. It's it's cool. It makes it very. It's very interesting. It's it's cool to be a parent. Um, and shout out to you, my man, the OG dude, holding it down, brother. How do you do that? How do you do that and still look good, man? Still look good, man. <laughs> no, just um, just. The main thing that they would say is, uh, I told them, you know, back in our day, we were growing up, there were Toys R Us was a big deal, right? And I said, I'm a to I, uh, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Ooh. And I remember when I was a kid, I was like, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> but I was like, I agree with that. I, I don't mind with the age going, but the mindset, you can't lose the creativity and the genius that children have. And so, you know, I was playing, you know, soccer with my son earlier. And it's just, you don't, you don't stop. I skateboard every day and we play video games together. We play card games together. So and awesome. um, So you get to embrace kind of being a kid too, in a way. That's, that's the fun part about being a parent. I won't stop. I won't, even my parents are still the same way. So like, absolutely. That's awesome, dude. That's what that, yeah. It's, it's part of it is always keeping your mind learning new things and then having fun, you know, embracing right. that, embracing that. If it's, if you're a parent in the moment, be a parent. If you're not a parent, play with the cat or, you know, embrace those moments of fun. You know what I mean? That, that, uh, you know, you can't do everything for seriousness in business. Uh, some parts of life and your, and your soul has to have a, a little bit of light time, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of laughter, a little bit of exploration. And, and, uh, 
that's, I feel like part of what makes you, you know, your soul happy uh, in many ways. When you get, once you get free, once you get certain points of things that, you know, in your alignment in life and you're not worried about the day-to-day stress, because I think people that are caught up in the day-to-day stress, they can't even get a moment to go, Hey dude, I'm going to go, I'm going to go skateboard. I'm going to go yeah. skateboard JB. It's, yeah. it's challenging, got- but if you can do that, when things are very, very bad, then this is the way out. You've got to do it when the things are bad. If you do it when you wait, you will have the regret that you spoke about earlier. So if things are difficult, if you're about to be evicted, or if you just lost a lot of money in the stocks, you still must skateboard. <laughs> I love and that, that is going to give you the clarity to know what the next answer is. Right. And if you haven't skateboarded in a while, pick up the damn skateboard and go out and have some fun, Jesus. Let's go, baby. Do you think you'll ever retire from, uh, from coaching and helping people? No, if the reason I even do what I'm doing right now is because one of the questions that it might help somebody here today is think about if you were um, a a billionaire or whatever your your revenue goal may be, what would you do still in each in the day? So if I were producing a film, which I love films and producing films, um, or if I were consulting somebody, I I will continue to write and speak. and, And this is what I do. So what I would do then is what I do now. Love this is that. the secret to, to the joy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, and that's a good point. That's a good point to think about. Like, cause sometimes like, even if you think you have a bunch of money, you won't do the same shit. You'll do the exact same stuff. Like I'm doing exactly the same stuff. And I, 2013, I had no money. And it was like, I got a shit ton of more money than I did back then at least. And then why am I doing the same exact stuff? <laughs> hey, that's what works, baby. That's what works. You know? Um, and especially around saving money and for me, cutting costs and things like that, because that's what I needed to do in my life to get things in my ball moving. Uh, and then I think obviously having a, a beautiful woman, like you said, your wife came into my life and, uh, and, and then 2012, and that gave me some crazy momentum as well. And uh, now we got two kiddos and a family and everything. And, uh, but the point is many times in life, whether it's a, a, a partner or whether it's you looking yourself in the mirror um, some of those decisions are, are, are up to you, you know? And so even though if you have JB in your corner, it's still going to be up to T Huff to, to make those daily decisions. And, uh, and many times we forget that like, we are very powerful, like super powerful guys. We are all powerful. Whoa, let's go. Um, is there a skill that you're trying to master or get better at? Is there something you're, you're trying to, uh, to work at? That's funny. So, I mean, I was, you know, my obvious were wonderful today. Um, better than they were even a month ago. So that's pretty great. However, this morning <laughs> I woke up and I, and I come out and one of my daughters is has, she's looking at her watch and one of my sons <laughs> has his head in two tires. He's got some tires out that's full of water and his head and he's bent over and I look and I look back again and I said, hold on, wait, what's he, what's he doing? <laughs> And she's timing him. She's like, he was timing him so how long he could hold his breath. Wow. Was, you can't say anything because if you remember you, then you, it's not different, right? So I said, oh, yeah, I totally did that. So how much did he How much did he get, right? And then so I said, here we go. So then I took Pops off. has got to get it. Pops has got to be gotta get it, right? <laughs> so get I, it. Over here, I said, okay, ready, you ready? So then I, so then I go out and now the thing is, I never did it like this. He kind of went upside down. Oh, so, got you. <laughs> this way right so the lungs are in a different position so you know i ended up getting you know i, I beat the good record but then i thought to myself and said hmm you know what i could be thinking about right now developing uh, uh holding the breath for a couple of minutes which i know that there's a breathing technique to oxygenate the cells so that you right it longer. and my wife was like okay yeah no great I, do you want to um you know is that what you want to focus on right now i was like you know if i focused on teaching him then i i get the benefit too Yes. So we could both, and it'll help him for wherever in life. And it's a great survival skill. And Absolutely. Skill. So one of the things I'm, I'm thinking about right now is, uh, is holding the breath longer. <laughs> love that dude. The Wim Hof breathing method, man. Let's go, oh, let's go, go yeah. baby. I love that dude. <laughs> yeah. It's a crazy skill. I mean, obviously, uh, and then in many cases you might need to hold your breath. So uh, yeah, exactly. like you said, it's, it's <laughs> Well, and it's a challenge. It's a fun. Ch- kids do these kind of things, guys. And, uh, but, but, but the, the point is in general is you're taking the challenge too, man. And you're Absolutely. willing to, you're willing to teach. You're willing to, to live by through your example. And I think that's the best parenting too. I think that's when kids, 
they kind of go, Dad, my dad's an OG, dude. He's, he's actually willing to put his head in here with me. He's willing to put in the work with me uh, instead of being like, okay, go do that. Okay, go ahead and, you know, and I think that's, I, I want to embrace that. So I like that. I like that. You're, you're, you're in the trenches, if you want to call it, with the, that's right. with the sun. And hopefully cool. no one gets hurt or anything, but you guys are going to have fun. You guys are going to have fun. You guys are going to have fun doing it. Um, my man, I love it, dude. Do you have a favorite app or a tool or anything that you use on a daily basis that you enjoy? Yeah. It's funny that you say that because uh, this company, they don't know me. I'm not sponsored by them or something like that. And I, I'm really typically only... I'll give a shout out to Telegram because we want to do Future and Friday on Telegram, which means there's going to be a live, basically Broadway on Telegram performance each Friday. Oh, nice. That's going to be really powerful. So go, you know, follow on Instagram or something like that. And then we'll do the QR code to join that community there. It's a very, very big deal. It's like the magnum opus of, of Futuring in my life. And it's a live performance. However, the app is called, I believe it's called Drafts. Like Drafts. DR, yes, D-R-A-F-T-S. And they are so remarkable. I just order the pro version. Just I, I just just to support them financially, so they can continue to do what they're doing. And you just press it. And uh, I typically keep the what I like about choosing laptop over a smartphone is I keep I only use the laptop. You know, I haven't used the laptop for many months at a time. I'm using it now for the interview. Right. So I could close it and then not use it. Right. But if there was something that you need to send over to your team, you could press on this drafts. And it just pops up blank. You can type ah. it. So you get the idea out first. Then you decide what you want to do with it. As gotcha. opposed to, and the reason this is so important for me is what I told you earlier, any incoming information is you have to be very careful with that. So if you were to open another app and there's an ad, if there was an app and there's a certain color, right. if there's an app and there's a word or a file, it could cause you to squirrel. Divert. Right? Absolutely. And when those moments where you're getting information from wherever you think the information comes for you, that has to come out in a pure sense. And drafts has been the way that it comes out for me. And then I decided who to send it to on the team and then they do whatever they do with it. So got you. Yeah, I like you know, that. So it's an intermediate, it's a, like an intermediary to all your other apps, but it basically in a way basically helps you get out your uh, thoughts without being interrupted by an ad or by something uh all these apps are so they use all these subliminal techniques and like that. you have to file something so right okay where do i want to file this let me open this up in this place something like that first you open up boot blank do it then decide that. then it so goes i like that, that company. <laughs> like that drafts we'll put that in the show notes as well and if you could sit down and chop it up to a lovely uh, mushroom and asparagus vegan meal with anyone in the world who do you want to chop it up with today you know, I always, I always mention my dad first, so uh, my dad. But let's let's go to also to someone else. It would be Bruce Lee. Uh, Ooh, uh, Bruce Lee, dude! Absolutely. Badass. Absolutely. He, I, I, I think he's a wonderful person. Uh, I've been wanting to reach out to Shannon Lee for a while. You know, I'd love to chat with her. I worked on a film on a on a theater show with Lou Diamond Phillips, and Lou Diamond Phillips was close with Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, yes, it's yeah, right. yeah. But Bruce is wonderful. He's a he's a philosopher. And really, he used Kung Fu. It was kind of his medium, but it wasn't about fighting. It was really about, uh, let's just say, like, um, he really dealt with racism a lot, being Chinese and being discriminated against. Absolutely. So, that was a tough time, dude. Really I really like it all together. So my Kung Fu is futuring, right? Um, but still, the message is really, really the same. So Bruce Lee is, is, a, is a one. I, it's funny I even say is a wonderful person. Because that's a powerful soul. So uh, it, it would be him. <laughs> dude, Bruce Lee, dude. Wow. It's, inc- it, oh, God. It, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> and, uh, just, like, thinking about that, just, like, the whole situations and things like that, too, like how people, like, leave us in this earth, in this life, and, like, the um, like, like how did that happen? Like, how does this things happen like that? It's just so – part of me is always fascinated by that. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, we were talking about Kobe and things like that. It's just like – how does this happen? And then it just happens, you know, and these situations happen. We have to come to accept and then uh, embrace, like you said, this, the soul and the power and let that kind of continually, uh, you know, live on. I think that's the beauty of it too. And that Bruce Lee's still living on, man. He's on the B-Real show right now. Let's go. <laughs> that's right. I love that, dude. I love that. And has there been a book that has changed your life or a book that you either reread or something you kind of just, it sticks to your soul? Yeah. Funny, funny. Ask that. It was, it was, 
I was on my own podcast the other day and I said, my own book is up there. You Let's know, go, like, baby. What? Give the book. Let's go. It's Alignment Alchemy. It's a powerful Ooh. book. Alignment Alchemy. And it's in a uh, Audible store and uh, in, in Kindle right now. And it's, it's, that is one of the top books for me. The other one that changed my life a number of years back, like 15, 16 years ago, was the four-hour work week. That was life-changing for me. Life-changing. And then the one that, I don't know, this is probably the deepest, uh, it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Right? I mean, everybody, you know, that was remarkable. But it's a simple book that people still haven't read. Yeah. It's one of those books that, like, it, dude, they should teach everyone in school, like, how to get your money right. Hey, like, we, we bought his, his game. We've got Cash Book Quadrant. I don't know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have it. We, we play with all of the kids. We, we Money is something we talk, we talk about. Money, relationships, every single day. Yeah, money and relationships. Like, those two things, if they could teach us that in school, like, it should be yeah. a requirement, like, a class. Like, English is great, right. and, yes, trigonometry is great, and geology is great. And we need to have all that, too. But uh, learning how to deal with your emotions and learning how to get your money right, Right. Key, baby. I mean, right. key, dude. Like, let's go, baby. Without that, it's all. What are you gonna do, anyways? What, what are you gonna that? do when you don't? It doesn't matter. And uh, and it's, it's such a. And then you're 18 years old. Throw you to the wolves, baby. Let's go. Get the hell out of here and figure it out. <laughs> do you want to go get in debt for two hundred thousand dollars in college? Do you want to go work at you know some other store or whatever? No. Dude, you got to still figure out how to get your money right because when you make money, you could be making 15 bucks an hour and balling. <laughs> right. Or you could be making $100,000 a year and broke as shit. And, <laughs> and, and the whole point is it's part of due to the both those two things. Your money is tied to your emotions and vice versa. It's like they're all going to work together. And if you don't got your emotions right, you know, it's going to affect your money. If your money's not right, it's going to affect your emotions. And right. we forget that this is like, like, math and trigonometry and all that shit's great, but it ain't going to solve those two most important things that uh, are key, like are the most key things for a happy society is like people to, to, to uh, you know, understand themselves and learn to embrace these emotions. And bro, I just appreciate souls like you, my man, because without people that are on a mission and on a path and are literally dedicating their lives to things like you're doing with the futurists and thinking about your alignment and putting yourself and realizing we are one race and we are one people and treating each other that way. But then at doing it at a big scale, man, because you're doing it with the top people and dude, I can see many things in your future, brother, not only more incredible books and more incredible movies, but dude, maybe stuff we never even thought about uh, that, that is in your path. But, dude, you keep on grinding, my man. And uh, like I always say, all our guests, we are still in the beginning innings of a more incredible journey, even more than you can ever imagine. But for men like you, dude, shout out to you for being great fathers, great husbands, souls that are literally going to, we're going to remember because you put in the work, baby, and you show up every single day. And that's what it's all about, you know, showing up every, like you said, the, the most successful celebrities are the people that just didn't give up and just kept on working. Michael Jordan, I ain't going to stop, baby. I get cut from my high school basketball team. I'm Michael Jordan, baby. Uh, but dude, I just appreciate your soul, man. And I, I think that uh, anybody that is wanting to get some more details, where is your favorite place for people to kind of hang out and learn more about you, dude? I, I was checking out the website earlier. Yeah. Future with the wizard dot com futurewiththewizard.com that's a good one yeah I love that. Com, connect with the wizard.com and jb the wizard and all the social media places and you guys can get a free behind the scenes audio book right now so go there and check it out i'm going to put that in the show notes as well dude brother i appreciate you man i'm thankful our souls connected in this life i know that this show is going to live obviously on forever but uh i always have a page full of notes and i got a page full of you as well and uh <laughs> I appreciate you. And last thing I was going to say, we we're talking about here, your sports cars, man. So uh, you got some sports cars when you were a kid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in, um, man, probably in Hawaii, I was collecting pogs. But before that in California. Oh, yeah. So I've got action. What are the, what are the ones? The golden thick ones? Are oh, action. yeah. Action, so, action packed. I action think that's packed, what I've got upper deck. Upper, so baseball. I have more football than baseball cards. Um, some baseball cards. Uh, let's see what else. Upper Deck, Fleer 92. Oh, right? hell yeah. Action Pack, Ultra or something like that. I've, Ultra got, I've, got, I've got a whole, I've got a lot of them. 
<laughs> love that dude love that that's what uh you know got me back into the hobby obviously kobe passing and things like that but then it basically got me into hey this is a business man let's take this this card and turn it into money baby this is a card that costs you five bucks and you can turn it into 200 bucks uh, uh by by learning about grading and basically getting them in these slabs and obviously not everyone's going to grade high but in general jb the point will be is uh, a great way to pass on to the kiddos a great kids are it's a fun thing that I find kids love this collectible stuff. Now what I would do though, if I were you, I would go through there and look for rookie cards, all um, rookie cards of quarterbacks. Okay. So that's the key. That's the ones that sell. And then um, at some point um, the grading companies have all kind of been inundated and they're kind of some are shut down because they're just holding off on business. But at some point card grading, like uh, PSA grading, which is this company PSA, mm-hmm you'll want to get some of those top uh, rookie cards graded. So you spend 20 bucks and you'll get it graded. And then it comes back to you. Not only is it protected, not only is it secure, it has a number and it's all authenticated, but then that's when the real investment comes in and that you can, if it's a graded a 10, like this one is, for instance, the higher, you know, goes to tens, uh, the money comes in, you know, that's when you get the, the big boy money. Um, and so, yeah, you can turn those uh, cards that are just literally sitting there into some good, good value over time. And, a fun thing to do, dude. You know, um, like jumbo deck, uh, abnormally sized jump of Michael Jordan. Oh hell yeah! It's unopened, bro. It's everything. Yeah. Hell yeah! Keep anything you have unopened. I would keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. Anything unopened, I would keep it that way. But dude, I appreciate your soul, man. And uh, let's freaking keep changing the world, my man. You are doing it a day at a time by thinking and t- making your mind think a little differently with your customers and clients, the celebrities and the top salespeople in the world. But dude, even in your movies and acting and writing, who knows, man, maybe a big motion pictures in the future, or you are the future of a, the, the wizard. I like that. I always, I always thought a huge, uh, a superpower movie. I remember writing one back in the day was, uh, social powers like using social powers of charm and charisma and things that like everyday kids could do because we can't fly we can't you know do we, we can't jump off of super buildings but we could be a charmer we can be you know uh, uh someone that listens to people you know there's just these different superpowers that are basically just characteristic traits that i always imagined that would uh give people the the enlightenment of hey this is what you do you listen to people you you know you you charm a little bit here and there and finding different ways basically to use skills that we all have right. um, because people forget that we all are superheroes, man. So God bless you, my, my man, JB. Folks, you've been hanging out with JB, the wizard, and your boy, Travis, too tall enough. We want to thank you again for your time today. And let's keep being real. What another epic episode and uh if you enjoyed the episode today can you please do me a favor and subscribe to our podcast the b-real show on itunes or your favorite podcast platform and also take a little time today if you don't mind and give your boy t huff a review i would really super appreciate it and thank you so much for listening today we're all going through a lot right now and real time outsource my business is giving back to local and small businesses Through our social media services and campaigns, we are actually helping small businesses get more exposure during these times and also when we get through these times. At the end of the day, we don't know how long this is all going to last, but most importantly, you got to think about your business right now and take it seriously. So come check us out at realtimeoutsource.com, realtimeoutsource.com, and we would love for you to qualify and get the process started where we can take a look at your business and see if we can qualify you for some of our services. Um, at uh, little to no cost for most of the businesses. And, uh, and, and some businesses, you know, you're going to have to pay, but that's just part of life, right? But most importantly is that I think this is the time, folks, that you can actually help thrive in your business. And so I would love to help you personally with our team. We're all going through a tough time right now. So take advantage of us, realtimeoutsource.com. Check us out, and we would love to do some business with you and help you with your social and digital media in 2020 and beyond.